Hello Gemini, let's talk about love. I have the Hierophant energy in the recent past for both of you. Taurus energy, very fixed energy, very stable. You both want to climb the stairway to heaven with each other. It is traditional marriage or marriage ceremony. Your current energy, Gemini, is the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius. Both of you are very passionate right now. This is about making love and making plans and maybe going on a great vacation, Sagittarius energy, maybe traveling abroad. This can be airfare, but it certainly is a lot of communication and a lot of passion and the fire in the belly for each other. Your person, when they view the situation with you, they see this beautiful Libra energy of balance. They see you as someone that they could make a commitment with. Libra and the Justice card is about the legal paperwork. It can be a commitment of marriage. It could be a prenuptial agreement. Uh -uh -uh. Well, maybe. Or it can also mean the marriage certificate. It can also mean any paperwork designed or needed to uh, make a legal commitment to Together. They are manifesting you, Gemini. Here you are in the reading. You might be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. The Libra energy here says that your person takes this very seriously. If this relationship doesn't serve something valuable in their lives, they really wouldn't opt to have it. They are at a crossroads too. They feel as though they need to make a decision with you. Two of Wands energy. They are at a path, a time in their life when they want to make decisions. They do feel as though they have to compete for your attention. They feel as though you're very desirable. And this is Leo energy. So they're willing. They have fire in their belly to fight for the relationship. They can be a little bit testy at times or a little challenging. But it really does speak to the fact that they like attention. They do want attention. They see you as a person who's like, somebody they fell in love with at first sight. Look at how beautiful this card is. That's a tower card. It's like, who is that? That's like across a beautiful room or a starry night. They saw you walking and it was like a lightning bolt to them. They see you as this amazing. There may be something very unusual about what you were wearing or how you dress or how you appear or even how you communicate. In their heart space, they have the sun card for you. Leo energy. A lot of Leo energy. A lot of fixed energy, which means that this person does not give their heart lightly. And the sun card means that you are you represent great happiness to them. This is one of the most important cards for long-term commitment also. It means that no matter what, no matter what the arguments or the fights or the trials and tribulations, that the two of you will always find balance and you'd always be able to manifest this happiness. So it really is important when they think of you, they think of you in the very best of terms. They view this situation as one that they're going to invest in or that they've already invested in, the Seven of Coins. Very respectable card. It is Taurus energy. When we look at the mutual energy between you and your person, we have the King of Wands energy, Leo energy. Oh, you love to spend time together. Look at all this Leo energy. That's, that's a lot of Leo energy. That is a lot of happiness. Leo energy, though, the Leo King is somebody who takes action, who moves forward, and both of you totally intend to do that. Now, Spirit is recommending. The advice of Spirit is a Three of Wands. Go out, go on adventures, go surfing, go to an exotic place. <laughs> we see it here, right? We see these cards really backing up this energy of Spirit saying basically, you know, the advice is enjoy starry nights, go surfing, do something exotic, do something fun, invest in your future because the advice here is that this person is your ship, has arrived in the harbor, this is a person you've been waiting for. So, you know, make love, do a little dance, do a little surfing, go on an adventure. The energy here says that your outcome card at this time is the Ace of Swords. That card is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And both of you are right there together, toe to toe, speaking your truth, being honest, being forthright. It gives great clarity, and it's a great new adventure 
between two people who really know how the power of communication. So let's go ahead and clarify this. I'm going to give you the table shot so you can see the cards here as we speak about them in depth, okay? So let's see what we have here. Why is the Hierophant here in the recent past? Equal give and take. You both have acknowledged that you're on the same page, that you want the same things. I'm excited. Okay. We have the Leo energy. Victory! Six of Wands. <laughs> Your person feels now as though they have to fight for you. We see the Five of Wands here. But they definitely feel as though they have scored a huge win in love with you. It's all about being proud to be together, being very public as a couple, being very happy, being very joyful. Like, look at me, I found the one, and you both feel that way. It's mutual energy. Let's see why your person feels as though they have to compete for you. The Two of Swords, you might have ignored them. <laughs> At the, at the early part of your relationship, while they saw you across a, a, a beautiful room or on a starry night, I don't think you noticed them and they had to do something to get your attention. Let's see why they feel that they need to move forward. There we go. We have the Aries King. So basically your person is at a crossroads. They need to make a decision. And what we see here is somebody who is making a plan. The Aries King, the chess piece, planning their moves. So right now your person sees themselves as planning their moves to manifest this relationship. So let's see what the card of, why the Magician card is here for you. So Gemini, Gemini, this is your card. This is all about who you are. Gemini, why is the Magician magician card here? Let's see. Well, so this person in the past has had disappointments. And so they're coming in. They're being very strategic here. They're trying to stay balanced. And they're coming in with an offer that is it's emotionally substantial. But right now... They do see you as their happy place, but they're going to take it a little bit slowly. They want to enter a new cycle with you. They feel they're on the precipice. They are throwing caution to the winds. So, but they're going to keep their balance while they do all this. Okay, so great energy. That's how they view moving forward with you, which is pretty powerful. Again, this could be a different, a person from a different culture, a different ethnicity, a different country. This person could be, have a different age difference. There could also be, this could be someone who is divorced and has children and other people to consider. Let's see what we have here. Why would they have fallen in love with you at first sight? Why do we have the tower card within the context of this beautiful, happy reading? Why do we have this power card. What is so striking about you? What is so interesting about you? The Eight of Swords. Well, what was so interesting is that you didn't see them. There's something about you that just showed that when they saw you, you were like deep in thought about something. So say you were at an art gallery, you would have been deep in thought. And what they saw, they fell in love with. Look at that. As I said the words, the card came out of the deck. They fell in love with you. Look at this passion. This passion, this person sees you as their soulmate. Gemini, that is you again. This person is choosing you, Gemini. They are choosing you. They feel as though they're much more in love with you than you are with them. It looks as though they might have done or said something that they have remorse and regret about. But we have Leo energy here clarifying this. So they view the situation, for some of you right now, there may have been some sort of discord or there may have been a disconnect for a period of time and your person is getting back in touch with you. That will be for some, not all. So take it as it resonates. Each card can be different. It's a general reading. So take which cards are yours and leave the rest. So the mutual energy between the two of you is that you've both suffered in a relationship. You both probably were married to people for whom you've divorced, okay? The Queen of Swords. So I see you as people who've been around the block. You've had more than one love adventure, one marriage, because we see in the past there's marital energy. 
But when we look at what Spirit has to say about this relationship, what does Spirit want to clarify about the Three of Wands card? Two of Coins. Okay. So Spirit is saying don't rush in with commitments. Take time to really get to know each other, to weigh and balance out what you give to the relationship, to find out how compatible you are, how much fun you can have, if there's enough strength in this relationship to carry you the distance. Why do we have the Ace of Swords here? I love the Ace of Swords in this energy. Hierophant, because you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So it says that if you were to marry again, and I see this probably as a singles reading, you know, that in your past relationship, there was sneakiness. The reason the relationship would have come unglued or you would have been divorced previously is that somebody wasn't honest. And so both of you are coming to this beautiful energy that to have a happy long-term commitment, whether it be, and this looks like a marriage of any sort, spiritual or, um, you know, mundane, we see that truth is the element and... We have this beautiful clarification card also of manifestation. This is the card of Venus. This is the Empress. And we have this energy. Your person is strategically bringing you in to them. So they see you as the Empress Gemini. They see you as this beautiful Taurus energy. A lot of fixed sign energy here, meaning that the relationship is very stable. So let's go ahead and look and see what the messages Spirit have for you has for you about this particular relationship. What would you like to know more than what we already know for our beautiful Gemini friends? What does Gemini need to know? Skyriding the fates, this relationship was meant to happen. All right. So let's see what we have for the Wisdom of the Oracle. That was a shaman's oracle. Messages of shamans. The wisdom of the oracle says, message in a bottle. <laughs> You're learning what you need to know. Pay attention to all of the messages that you see. Every message means something. So if you start seeing numbers, if you start seeing, um, you know, a person's name everywhere you go, that really does mean something. So pay attention. All right, let's see what the card, let's see, this is a dog oracle. Ah, it's so cute, look at this. It says better together, better together. So that's your answer. I hope you like this. Take care, Gemini, bye-bye.